Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Now, as I film, it is the evening of the 7th of February, so meaning a week tonight, it's, uh, it's Valentine's Day. And what do you drink on Valentine's Day? Um, pink champagne. It's got to be pink, well it doesn't have to be pink champagne, but it's one, one of the things that uh, everyone says you should drink. So uh, I've got a bottle of pink champagne here. It's got a little bit gone from it, and, and uh, I was forced to have a glass when I was... Um, having uh, my spaghetti bolognese. I have to say it went rather nicely with spaghetti bolognese. Uh, but it also gave me the chance to, um, to quiz my 15-year-old uh, uh, son about, uh, about the colour of it. Now, people look at the colour of champagnes and they say, partridge's eye, because we all spend our time looking into partridge's eye, and, uh, or salmon pink or things like that. He came up with rose gold, which I thought was rather poetic for a... Uh, a fifty, well, a, 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 slight, a teenager who's slightly bruised. He went to see Greendale last night, and uh, he's um, yeah, walking wounded today. Anyway, the wine. Um, so it's Bruno Payard, um, Premier Rosé Premier Cuvée, uh, made mostly from Pinot Noir. There's a little bit of Chardonnay in there, um, and I've tasted it already. But I'll give it another sniff and another swirl, so just to uh, make it look really authentic. This is jo a jolly fine drink. Um, What's really nice about it, um, it's, it definitely tastes like it's, uh, it's got red fruit in there. Sometimes I, I taste rosé wines and you're sort of thinking, well, hang on, it looks pink, but uh, I can't taste any pinkness in there. But here you get that depth of red fruit, those red berries, that little edge of cherry. And yes, that green apple there in the background, but it's just red fruit that's the main event. Um, what's also good about it um, is it's not it's not harsh and young. It's got a little bit of knowing maturity. I think it's got it's probably um, probably at least three years on the lees. I think it said in the, in all the uh, the bump uh, that that came with the wine, um, and um, I think that combined with the use of reserve wines, uh, but also the depth of flavour there means you don't notice that it's quite low dosage. So in other words, it's, it's, it's had a, when, when they came to top it up after they'd taken the cork on which it had done its secondary fermentation out, uh, they didn't have too much uh, sugar to, uh, um, to, to sweeten it up. It's just surviving there on sheer depth of flavour. Uh, it's a really tasty wine. It's, um, it, it's, it's really nice by itself, but it performed remarkably well with spaghetti bolognese. I'm not suggesting that as the classic uh, food combination, but I wouldn't mind having that um, all the way through a meal, really. A bit of smoked salmon to start with and maybe some nice roast chicken and uh, maybe I'd, uh, I'd balk at serving it, serving it with a sticky toffee pudding. But uh, tasty wine and uh, shame, the only shame is that um, we're a week before Valentine's Day uh, and I'm all on my own this evening, so I'm, I might just pour myself another glass and look forward to next week when my wife will be back in circulation. See you soon.